I'm Dr. Kathleen Mollis, New York City-based audiologist, also known as Ear Doc of TikTok. I hear you all have some great questions for me. So being noise sensitive, it could take two different forms. So people could have hyperacusis, which is just like a general sensitivity to loud sounds, like a blanket sensitivity, or people could have misophonia, which is like a really emotional disturbance and annoyance to a particular sound. So in general, it's very disruptive to people's lives because there is noise everywhere in general. So if you are more sensitive to it, just getting through your regular day can be very difficult for this population. Noise can have a lot of repercussions like across your full life. Misophonia is complicated because it's one of those things that's hard to pin down. You know, is it an ear related thing? Is it a brain thing? Is it something that should be dealt with by a psychologist or an audiologist? And uh, there's still a lot of research that needs to be done about it because we don't know enough about it yet to really be able to manage it well. Um, and again, misophonia is this emotional disturbance to a, to a particular sound. So the most common ones are chewing or um, someone clicking a pen, you know, really common little things that are annoying to most people, but it's like intolerable to, to people that actually have it. So the interesting thing is uh, that the onset of it is usually in your teenage years. The average onset is like 12, 13, 14 years old. So I think there's also this fear that people won't be taken seriously when they report having it because there's a lot of other things going on around that age. And it tends to really peak in college and we see it more with women than men for some reason. But beyond that, there's still a lot that needs to be investigated about it. I think it really falls more into the psychology camp personally than the audiology camp. Um, just because it does seem like you really have to control the reaction to it more so than um, actually addressing the input or the, the actual stimulus uh, that would be more of the audiology side. They go hand in hand. Sensory overload, uh, certainly people report that the auditory stimulus is part of it. They definitely sounds are a big part of this sensory overload. And that could be like it, you're in a meeting, someone's clicking their pen, someone's chewing gum, someone's eating a snack, whatever it is, and you have all these really annoying triggers going on can make it really hard for you to focus. So it could be misophonia. It could also just be this general hyperacusis, again, because of all of the sounds around you. So they are all under the umbrella, I would say, of sensory issues, sensory disorders. So for misophonia, um, this is where there's some overlap with tinnitus, which is the ringing and buzzing in your ears, that both of them, there are some things that again, fall within the audiology scope of practice, but a lot um, will also fall into the psychology or the cognitive behavioral therapy, really, of we want to control your reaction to these things and make sure that these sounds are no longer so triggering for you. And that's like a trained behavior, which is why it can be better done by psychologists sometimes. So tinnitus, certainly that's true. Misophonia, that's true. If we talk about hyperacusis and the sensitivity to loud sounds, that does fall more firmly in the audiology camp. It can be helpful to reduce the stimulation or how much input you're getting, which is where earplugs come in handy. Um, but you wanna make sure that you're careful with what kind of earplugs you're going to be wearing because you don't want it to be too powerful, essentially. You don't want it to totally block out the sounds because then you're just sidestepping the issue and you're ignoring what is what the problem is instead of developing that tolerance of being able to handle it. So you actually want uh, earplugs that let some sound in. It's the same principle when you go to a concert. You want to hear what you what you are going there for. You want to hear the music. So you want to get that stimulation, but just um, to a level that is tolerable for you, which is where the earplugs come in. It will lower it so it's not quite as triggering for you. Take the edge off. Yeah.